Go get Joe, go get Joe. Say Bo! Hey, look, we're going against special teams, offense, and some defense today. Everybody, let's have a good day of practice. Good. He's here. Miss Bradley said my cell wasn't made, so they said I couldn't come to practice. We got a big game Friday, baby. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, this is here we go. One, two, three, four. With a lot of these kids, football's their way out of their problems at home or their hood or whatever's going on where they come from. This is their way out. And I believe Jimerson believes in it, or just like a lot of them. If I can do well in this, I can get a scholarship, in which they can. The goal is to get to college. I get to college, I can do the rest from there. Football was gonna be the way to get to college. The reason why I couldn't play in the first game, because I started becoming verbally aggressive with the staff, but I got restrained. It was only two weeks before the game. They just wanted to use it as an example that it's a zero tolerance for anything if you're going to play sports. Once a week, we get a list of kids that are eligible to go off campus. It can change at any given point in time. depends on the behavior or what's going on that week. There's a lot of kids. So just because you're on the lease does not guarantee that you go off campus that Friday. So we have a group called MDT, which is multidisciplinary team. That's the dorm case manager. That's the JCO6 of the unit, sometimes a psychologist, and anybody who basically has an interest in working with a young man. In the case of some of our football kids, the, the behavior is the key. They'll go through and they'll process whether or not they're passing all their classes. They have to make sure they're completing all the therapeutic treatments that they're required to. They have a vote together as to if they feel like he's meeting all the criteria. Then once it goes from the MDT, the decision comes over to the assistant superintendent and myself. We started off with 16. I'm not too upset about losing three kids because one did go home. Another one got in some trouble that he probably could have prevented, but Christopher is still up in the air. It's like a big question mark if he can or cannot go. It's not your week to come up, but as you know, it's been like discussion about you and your eligibility to go off campus and stuff for football, so that's why we brought you in here. Yes, so I don't feel comfortable with him going off campus for the simple fact that he has a very short views. Christopher is, he has a little temper like me. You know, I tell the kids all the time, a demon recognizes a demon. Me and Christopher are each other identical twins almost because he doesn't put up with a lot. Why do you think she wrote the two to five saying that you were disrespectful and you became an outrage, meaning you were upset, angry? My voice got like, a little bit loud. Then one of them said, um, while I was talking, they interrupted me. So I said, why you being, why you being disrespectful right now? Interrupting me while I'm talking. You won't want nobody interrupting you. You can't be disrespectful trying to demand respect. You get that? Like you're eligible right now, but you need to stay Cool. You're going to have to treat us with the same respect you treat coaches, plain and simple. It's a correction, so the correct behavior that got you here. Or are you going to go out there and do the same thing? But next time, you're going to go with the big boys. Or you'll be shot and killed in the process. You understand that? Yes, that is always a risk. They be talking a lot of bull****. I don't know, they be talking bull****. I ain't afraid to get shot. I ain't afraid to die. I made peace with my maker a long time ago. When they told me I can go, I wasn't happy. 
knew I was upset about the um, situation because I learned over the years just never to get your hopes up and prepare for the worst. We're not like what you think we are. This is not a prison, per se. We're more of a learning center, an educational resource lab. We have college classes, we have uh, canine programs, we have equestrian programs. But the PAWS program is all about somebody else. And for the first time in these kids' lives, they worried about something other than themselves. When you put a dog in, into this environment, it completely changes the whole equation about how you work with these kids. The dogs create a magic that people can't create that makes it a lot easier for us to help the kids move to a place where they're not gonna hurt themselves or others again. Dogs come to us straight out of the shelter, Noah's Ark here in Gainesville. I go down and I do an evaluation, I try and match dog's personality and kid's personality. They brought the other dog? Oh, there you go. Yeah, no, I ain't giving you no treats. That's the other dog right there. The dog presented as being kind of shy, has some trust issues. It's not really sure about people yet. This is Frodo. But Frodo. Name him whatever you want. Oh, I you know ain't. Who Frodo is? Uh-uh. It's a character out of the Lord of the Rings. I mean, I don't watch Lord of the Rings, but... You can name him whatever you want. It's a boy? Yep. Joe's probably got some trust issues and has not always gotten a fair shake. Well, he has probably had a really rough, rough go of it. So I thought this would be a good opportunity for him to really bond with a dog that needed someone who was going to give him the safety and comfort and build that trust relationship. Bend down. See, he'll come to you. Right? Hey, look, we're going to be better than all the other dogs, all right? You know what I'm saying? We're going to flex on them. Real talk. I got to come up with nine for you, man. You know what I'm saying? With well, good nine. Can't name me Frodo. You don't look right on you. Little more than just a little Frodo. Jack. Should I name him Jack? Nah, I ain't gonna name him Jack. His name gonna be Red. Miss Husband, you got a name for him? It's your dog. Why don't you ask your peers? Guapo. I call him Guapo. Guapo. Pig in a blanket. What's up? Don't know it. Glaze. You look glazed enough, you know what I'm saying? Glaze, I like glaze, yeah. Man, I'm trying to, I still can't think of one. Rose Petal. It's a girl? Quick. Gotta see how fast you run, though. Nike. There you go. That's a good one. Nike. Definitely not. That's a good name. I like that. We're gonna stick with Nike. Well, this is Rosie. No, I did not pick out the name. Before I actually came into the Texas Juvenile Justice Department system in 2016, I had been in and out just for like 15 to 20 days on probation, stuff like that. It was just a lifestyle for me. This really isn't the life I want. When I first got here, I'd heard about the football team. I haven't played football since 2015 season, my sophomore year. I want to try to play for a college when I get out. I was at school one day, and uh, they were like, that's a football coach. I remember I walked up to him. I said, hi, Coach Burge. My name is Sammy. You know, I just introduced myself. And I told him, I said, I can play football. And they said, oh, really? You'll be back in seven. It should. It should work out, right? If you get your three, it should work out. Nah, I'm going to get my three for sure. I'm crazy. So, and you should be fine. All right. What paperwork I got to do, though? you will send it to Studmeyer so you can sign off on your waiver to go off campus. He told me, he's like, well, I'm not a talking guy here. I have to show me. I said, all right, Coach, bet I'll show you. You are too big. Yep. Yes, sir. There we go. I'm done. Hey, Coach, I put him in this way. Right there? Yeah. But don't, don't stop doing what you've been doing all week long. Honestly, you tell the truth. Fort Worth Christian, top 10, Gainesville, out about 210. They probably got like 150, 160. Oh, yeah, it's a, it's a statement game. It's a statement game for us. Let's go. Yeah, I told Coach Burns I couldn't go. Then he was sad. Hey, Miss Robson just came. Said I can't go. Now, all I just wanted to see his facial expression. It was pretty funny, though. <laughs>
Yeah. No, I'm just playing. She said I can go. She's here. Yeah. All right. I'm excited a little bit. Man, you feel some type way on the inside there. On defense, I'm just gonna be telling you to play. Sam is like Christopher. Sam! Christopher, he flies. Hey. If Christopher is Clyde, then Sam got to be mine. Nope. And the reason why I say that is because they just go hand in hand, and you can see them feed off of each other energy. Say, like J-Bo, eat. <laughs> That's what every defensive coordinator head coach wants. Hey, bro, what you doing? Hey, what we got is this right here, this thing that beats 60 seconds a minute, and you got to put it to the test on Friday. Gentlemen, make sure you have your business in the classroom. Don't, don't ruin it. Sam is going to be a good one. On a football standpoint, he's ready to play now, but even though his behavior has been exemplary since he's been here, he just hasn't been here long enough to go off campus yet. Dig deep, don't feel sorry for yourself. <laughs> what pickle juice at? You hit the first shot. I got you next. Man, no pickle juice in no way at the time. Hey, pickle nice. juice is good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, it tastes like Kool-Aid, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> they talk about can nobody walk on their hands longer than I can, though. My mama already knows she coming. My best friend coming, stuff like that. Got to do a lot of hard work. Just play how I played last game. I got to give me a touchdown, though. Got to give me a touchdown. What's up, Johnny? What's up, Johnny? Initially, when you play a, a school like Angel State where kids are incarcerated, the first go around, you, you have worries about the safety of your kids and, 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 and your fans and cheerleaders and all that. You're an ambassador of our school. That means real simple. Nothing that will embarrass you. It's a high school out there and a bunch of high school girls. I don't want to hear you. Look, but don't talk. So you're worried about will there be enough security? Will their kids behave? Will uh, will they be policed? Are our kids safe? We quickly realized that the staff at Gainesville State and security uh, do a phenomenal job. Those are some of the best behaved young men that we play every year. Let's just turn into another game for us. Cut their goddamn asses down, like I told you. All right. Here it comes. We'll take that. Come here. Good job, big dad. Stop being scared. Coach. What? He told me to get back in my jail cell. Oh. I like that, coach. Yeah, that's all right. Watch the holding, Will. Watch the holding. Damn, come on. Touchdown, Fort Worth Christian. This ain't the time to let up. How we get turned around like this? Go, make a play. Make a play. Come on, man. It's unnecessary. There's a flag on the play. Water, 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 water. Go, hey, you go do your job. I got this. Come on, 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 come on. Come, on. come here. Yo, look at me. Oh, you better read this, man. He ain't calling nothing. I know. It's broke? Out of there. Oh, oh, God, I'm taking me breath. Stop, 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 stop. Ooh. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Jimbo, Jimbo, look, no, no, look at me. Jimbo, look at me. He wasn't supposed to be on kickoff, bro. Hey, 
Yeah. You punched me on kick out. You know, I wasn't. Coach took me off. I got you. I got you. I got you. I can't go to college no more. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. I got you. No, come on. I got you. I got you. I can't go to college no more. Listen. Eyes on me, soldier. Soldier. Eyes on me. Uh, hold on, calm down. Now look at me. Don't look at nobody else. I got you. Look at me. I got you. No, I got you. You know who's doing right and who's doing wrong. You know who's playing dirty and who's playing right. I want you to keep your eyes on me, and I'm going to the hospital with you, all right? Give us the strength to fight back for ourselves, bro. No, I got it, Coach. Go. No, no, no. Go. Oh, hey, Coach. 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 my mind going to be more focused on him than the game. Stay. Stay, please. Wiggle these toes down here for me? You can't wiggle them. Can I can't say one no. thing, Coach. What? When we going, can I get some eat? <laughs> My leg might hurt, but I'm still I got you, I got you, I got you, kid. All right, on three. One, two, three, roll. Keep going, man. They got me, man. I'm going to go to the hospital. Y'all finished what you started, you understand me? All right. Coach Thomas, take care of my boys, please. You all right, baby boy? All right, I'll be back. Right here. Right here. Right here. Say it with your chest. No excuse, get my way! We can go over right after the game is over. That's what I'm saying. No, I won't, I won't go with them right now. Yes, sir. My responsibility. I'm going to ride in the ambulance. Okay. Okay, here it is. But what this game about right now, it's about the heart. It's about effort. Yep. Everything is going to be clean, but everything is going to be hard. Yep. From this moment forward, they don't get an inch. Not an inch. Okay? Get your minds on what we about to do. We about to do some work.